Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Enscape has released a new version, so today we're going to take a look at it and check out all the cool new features that it has. If you don't know what Enscape is, I already made two other videos where I explain uh, what it is and how to use it. I will put the link in the description box, so make sure to check them out. But now, let's take a look at the cool new features. Okay, so this is my Revit project and let's open up Enscape. Okay, here we go. Now let's maybe change the time to a bit later so that our scene is a bit brighter. Nice. Uh, now the first new thing that I want to show you is that now you can switch between your different uh, 3D views here in Enscape, which is very comfortable because then you can always switch between different views and uh, it goes back exactly to the position that you want it to. Now these 3D views that you can switch between are um, the 3D views that you create in your uh, Revit project. Um, this is what I showed you in my last video, how to lock 3D view. You can create them by going to a specific position and then duplicating the view. Now another thing that they put in the new version is a lot of new settings. For example, here in Atmosphere, you can now load your own uh, sky box, or you can just have a white background instead of the sky. Also, we have some new image parameters like vignette or uh, chromatic aberration. It's a bit like Instagram filters. But also, of course, you can change the saturation of your image or the color temperature from cold to warm. And here in advanced you can change the light brightness of your artificial light. But I don't think I have any in this project, so this doesn't change anything. And another cool new feature is that now you can export the whole project so that somebody who doesn't have Enscape and who doesn't have Revit can open it and uh, walk around in it. So we're gonna try this. Okay, so it's finished. Let's take a look at it. So this is what we exported. And we see that it's an AXI file, so anybody can open it. Let's take a look at it. So you see this opens up something that looks like the user interface in Enscape with all the major functions, like we can change the daylight and then we can start to walk around in it. So this is pretty awesome to give somebody an impression of your a uh, model if, who doesn't have Revit or who doesn't have Enscape. And then another really cool thing is that you can now have complex camera paths for your videos. So you can add multiple keyframes and create a cool video like this one from your Revit project with just a few clicks. And in my next video I'm going to show you how you can do this. Well, I hope you liked this video and stay tuned for part two next week when I will show you how to use the video path tool. And in the meantime, you can check out the other videos on my channel and then I will see you next Monday with the part two of this video.